So, what's up guys, Yishizu here, and happy holidays if you're watching this during the holidays. No happy day holidays if you watch it afterwards, simple as that. Now, a simple video of how to use the Somnus War Exporter. I made a previous video on that as well, but I still get some questions like, hey, uh, it's not working anymore, blah, blah, blah. So, we had an issue at some point that... Um, Summoners War went instead of like uh, HTTP to HTTPS. That's just some like security line stuff. So if you want to read about it, just go to Reddit. You, you click on this thing and it shows like all information. So I'm not going to go through all of this, like what happened, blah, blah, blah. No, I'm just going to show you what I use. And that's simply Nox. I just used a Nox installation just to get um, the JSON. And then I just turn off Nox again. That's the only thing I do for iOS. Apparently, it still works for Android. It only works with like an old version or a rooted version. Having a rooted version is not allowed, and that could be bannable. Nox. Some people say it is bannable, but as far as I know, like take it at your own risk that's still for sure like <laughs> don't add me if you get banned but i never heard anyone get banned because of using nox and that's been in the last four years or something the only thing people get banned for is doing shady stuff on nox when you use mods when you use um any like auto clicker so you use anything like that any like um whatever like mods or just bots or whatever you get banned for that yes but just using nox never heard anyone get banned for that so that's why i used it so um to get the latest release you just click on this one you get the tag and same as before you see like a bunch of things to download some people get confused like what should you actually get preferably i get this one which is just a portable version which is just only this file you open it and you get this simple as that so then you have like the only thing that's different compared to like the previous videos you get like the get certificate while well, we start the proxy same as before like there's some stuff like normally it's at 8080 but there's some other stuff that can run at 8080 so preferably i use 8082 <clears throat> the fucking local address perfectly fine and you click on get certificate now then your certificate is like placed somewhere cool this is where it get placed and it's just a file with some random stuff in there like if i open it you just see like whatever you need this to like get through the security of the https so what you have to do then is you have to get to your knock so i already installed summoners war on this one you can get Nox. I will also leave a, like all of the links and all of the websites I talk about there in the description. So check that out. So what you do then, you have to get this one into here. But if you want to drag and drop it, it says like you have to root your system to use this. Technically, if you root your system, it's more likely that you will get banned. So no, I would not recommend to do this. I would not recommend to root this. So how do you get this file into here? Email it to yourself and then log in your email Nox. Do it, put it on Dropbox or like any like cloud drive thing and just open it here. Like personally, I'm a web developer, so I just put it on like a web host. But emailing or just Dropbox, Google Drive, or OneDrive, those kind of things is the easiest to get it here. So then to add this file in here, you cannot. Let's just show before. But the moment you email it to yourself, you're going to find it somewhere like downloads or whatever. So you go to security, uh, from security, you go to install from SD card. And I have like a bunch of names already here from like things I like in my download folder. Um, I actually had to rename them to like something because just the plain name, I couldn't select it for some reason. So you just put that and then you put like stuff and things or whatever, doesn't, doesn't matter. And then blah, 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 use credentials for VPN and apps. Yes, completely fine. Thing, stuff, things and doesn't matter is now installed. Sounds really promising. You can actually check it here with, whoops, wrong one trusted credentials you see that like by your user you got like one credential that it's just like 
that's the one I just put in there. It also shows like the notification, like your network might be monitored. If it's the first time you do it, you probably have to put in like a, a pin or like anything like that, same as on your phone. Just do that, doesn't really matter. And then you set up the, um, the proxy same as you did before. So you go into here, you modify it. Um, this one you have to hold longer. And then you just see like the same as before. Um, normally it's on none. In this case you go for manual, manual you paste in the same stuff you have up here as up here. So the proxy is this and then the port is this of course. You save that, yes, yes. And you just start summoners war. Easy as that. So you see summoners war is starting. Like if you have issues of like the you get a black screen right now, just restart Nox or like check if your uh, settings are correct like if you put in the correct IP address and that kind of stuff and that's where you see I save my JSON file of my own account and that's where I just close Nox. Simple as that. That's all I do with Nox. Like I don't use it. I don't use it to farm edit anything like that. Um, simply because I don't care about it. I just want the JSON file. Let's say you want to um, use it to farm and like track your um, stuff like how you're farming or like how what your race or summon race nox is actually known to be like quite laggy it's not like even on a good computer my laptop here is quite good it's going to be lagging for that i would recommend blue stacks but it's a little bit more of a hassle to make it work that's or you just have to run it on ios and you check out this thing like i'm just i'm not going to show here like all methods i'm just showing what i use i'm just showing it's still really easy and as you can see here where that you can then import your JSON poof poof simple as that so that's all for this video if you have any questions of course always feel free to let me know um, this is just how I use my setup and again like if you would say like hey it's I don't feel like it's safe to use Nox <laughs> simply don't <laughs> like if you don't feel safe don't use it like no one's telling you to use it I just say like hey this is what I use I know no one has been banned for just using Nox in this way you can even farm on Nox no one's gonna get banned for that if you use bots mods or any sort of like auto clickers or whatever you're probably gonna get banned using Nox but that's because of using something else on Nox. So also don't root your device because rooted devices are more likely to have like mods and stuff like that so you it probably gets more suspicious when you have those kind of things so don't root it just send it by email like the, the the file send it by email that kind of stuff and that's perfectly fine you got your own account with your stuff and everything and you can use the optimizer again so again if you're watching this during the holiday enjoy your christmas enjoy your new year's eve and see you here peace out and on the last side note it's the holidays of giving so i'm gonna give you something i have a raffle and everyone's already joined and let's see who win uh it's you what did you win you win a free subscription to my channel click here to activate your free subscription yay oh man i'm such a fucking sellout <laughs> oh man terrible i'm missing the hat where's the hat at